Welcome to the Zavi Productions. My name is the Zavi. Today, I'm going to show you a Pro Tools feature called Retrospective Record. Now, we've all had those moments where we're playing with the keyboard, laying down some ideas, and we play something nice, but we weren't recording and we don't remember what we played. With Retrospective Record, it'll pull up the keys that we just played without having had to record them. Today, I'm going to show you how that works. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, here we have our session, and I have a drum loop here that I made using Battery 4 by Native Instruments, and I'm also going to be using Massive by Native Instruments as well. I want to add a couple bells to this drum loop, but I'm not quite sure what I want to add. Let's take a listen to the drum loop. All right. Now, in order for retrospective record to work, I have to be playing the keys while the playback is running, otherwise it will not work. So let's give it a shot. All right, now we're gonna go to event and go down to the bottom where it says retrospective record or use option shift Z. And Pro Tools pulls up the keys that we just played without having had recorded them. So let's play them back and see what it sounds like. All right, not too bad. Now, if you want to refine the, the notes, go ahead and double click on the MIDI clip and you can refine the notes individually one by one. And that is how you use retrospective record in Pro Tools. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and comment. It helps us reach others interested in music production. I do music production tutorials using Pro Tools and Ableton, as well as review and demo music production equipment. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next session.